Thanks for joining us at Right on Replicas, where we're proud to bring you the best scale model kit reviews on the planet. This review covers the re-release of the Zinger's Super Drag Kit by MPC. It's a 1 32nd scale dragster with a 1 20th scale motor. Now these have not seen repops in many years and this is a 2010 release, but it can still be found in small hobby shops and online. It's a skill level 2 requiring glue and paint. You get 42 parts molded in white and black with a set of water slide decals. The instructions are fold out, simple to follow, and the kit is very basic. Nothing more than a huge motor and a big set of wheels. It's simple and fun and that's what these are all about. When you're done, it's five and a quarter inches long, two and three quarter inches wide, and two and three quarter inches high. There's also an extra one and a quarter inches length for the chute. Here are the contents of this kit. And as you can see, these parts came out of the box. Some people would call this an open box review. But I'll just let you see all the parts in 10 seconds or less. Now, we're going to be using Model Master's liquid cement for most of the construction here. And also some super glue for parts that need strength if, if it's called for. And white glue if there are any uh, clear parts to attach. But as always, please remember, follow the manufacturer's suggestions for safety just for your own personal safety when using any of the products that you see mentioned here. Here are the decals for this kit and they hearken from the 70s as you can see peace symbols everywhere. But nonetheless the color is good and the registry is great and I strongly suggest though you use some of the aftermarket setting solutions to make sure that it fits contours and sticks well to the body. Gather these parts from the kit for the motor construction and as you can see it's separated into about four steps. So the motor uh, is being built and first and the first step is the blower. So assemble the blower and the scoop and paint it body color. And then attach the cage to the blower with the front and the back. Now add the scoop. Uh, step two is to assemble the block and the timing cover. So paint that red. And the belt is a rubber color. I did the pulleys in body color and the idler in aluminum, but you can use your imagination here. Step 3 involves painting the valve cover vents and the magneto aluminum and then install the vents into the covers. Assemble the blower to the block and add the valve covers to the block, then add the pulleys through the belt to the blower. Add the idler in place and install the magneto. Step 4 is just adding the headers to the block. Now we can work on the wheels. So remove the centers out of the front tires and insert the front rims. Use a mix of thinned flat black to highlight the rims to pick out the detail. Now assemble the rear tires and insert the rims and use a sheet of sandpaper and press and roll the tread area to give it a used look on the ends there, just like a real car. Now we'll assemble the, the body next, so pick out these pieces from the kit and then attach the under panel, add the chute mount to the back and then attach the wing to the roll bar and the roll bar to the car. Now wet sand the body and prepare it for paint. Then primer it and uh, paint it the color that you decide. I used a metallic green for mine. The seat is flat black and once cured add the front suspension into place and I'd use some super glue on that to make sure that it sticks. After your paint has cured we can start doing some decaling. So grab the decals and some warm water and uh, put them into place where you like them to go. Um, this is kind of a free-for-all kit so you can pretty much uh, use your discretion at where you want to place them. But I still suggest using some of the setting solutions that are available to make sure that they slip over those contours and adhere to the body properly. As you can see this model is coming together quickly. Now it's time to snap the front tires onto the front axles just be careful and, and uh, back up that spindle with the uh, finger of your other hand to make sure you don't put too much pressure on. Then uh, push them straight onto the spindles and they should snap into place. And then glue the rear tires onto the rear axle that uh, are th sticking through the openings in the side body there. Next grab the motor assembly that you built before and glue that into place in the body uh, in the opening there uh, just before the cockpit. Now paint the chute in uh, the colors of your choice and glue the base there to the slot in it. 
As you can see, the chute is meant to be displayed as deployed uh, following the dragster on the small stand that's provided, but you could also drill some small holes in the chute there at the ends and use some thread or uh, string of some type to tie the chute to the car and give it a more realistic look. However, there is no thread uh, supplied, so you'll have to source that yourself. Well, there you have it. Your model is complete. And the Zingers kind of predated the die-cast cars that became so popular in the uh, late 90s and early 2000s. But as you can see, it's just a fun build. Uh, there's not too much to it, and there is no semblance of realism or even scale uh, to some extent. But if you have a little bit of time and you just want to relax and put something together, this fits the bill. And you can use your imagination for the various colors and touches and appointments on the kit. But uh, anyway, who's got a dually dragster on their shelf? Get one of these and have fun with it. We hope you've liked this step-by-step -step premium scale model kit review. And so that you don't miss any more, subscribe to our YouTube channel. But you can always find us on Facebook and at our website, www.rightonreplicas.com. Thanks.